Hey guys, this is Mindy back with another cup of love, cup of wisdom. Let's get in here and do an energy check. Let's see what's going on. Remember, this could be past, present, or future energy. Remember to take what resonates, leave it doesn't, flip the sides and rolls as needed. Keep in mind that this is a collective read, not a personal read. If you'd like a personal read, the details are in the description box. And make sure you send me an email if you do decide to get a personal read, okay? So we have consume, power. And in the reverse, I had communicate, instinct, and trick. So right off the bat, the first two words with consume and power, I'm getting, like, I feel like someone's on a power trip or somebody feels like you are on a power trip. Someone's trying to test your instincts with some sort of communication. Someone is trying to trick you. Um, someone's trying to knock you off of your high horse. Um, if they feel like you're being on a power trip, but I feel like this person is on a power trip with some sort of illusion or obsession with you and what you do or trying to knock you off your pedestal. It's like somebody is trying to knock you down and somebody feels like they're too big to fail or there aren't going to be any consequences um, for their actions, but there's definitely tricky energy here. So I'm getting like someone is consumed with power as if someone is on a power trip, like it's a karmic energy that's on this power trip. And they're trying to fuck with your instincts um, using some sort of communication. So somebody could be using false profiles or um, emails, DMs, IMs, you know, messages, text messages, um, even calling from fake numbers or something. There's some sort of false communication that somebody is doing and they're pretending to be somebody else. It's like they're trying to test your instincts, but they're trying to trick you so they can say, aha, see, um, this person isn't real. But it's like they're obsessed with you in your life. They need to get one of their own. Even though this person feels like you're on a power trip, it's this person who's on a power trip. They're obsessed with trying to trick you in some way and being mischievous and just being reckless and careless. I'm getting like that Loki energy. I have commitment here. So somebody could want to offer you some sort of commitment. things are getting serious. So somebody could want to make things more serious. And then I have pregnancy. Someone is expecting. And then I have honeymoon, honeymoon phase, attending someone's wedding and then moving change of residence, moving in with your partner. So this could be somebody, um, who is your divine counterpart who wants to offer you some sort of commitment. You could be pregnant or you could just be giving birth to new ideas or being creative. You don't have to have a child. Maybe you're past childbearing age or maybe you're done having kids. But you're pregnant with some idea. Expect something good to happen. It says someone is expecting. So um, you could just be expecting good things. Maybe you're expecting some sort of commitment. This could be your own commitment, your own honeymoon. Someone wants you to move in with them and solidify some sort of relationship Someone wants to put a ring on it and lock it down. So we have an empress in reverse here. That's that karmic energy um, who's on some sort of power trip. Um, and it's like they're projecting their feelings onto you. That's why it came out in the upright. They're consumed with power and they're trying to project those feelings onto you. You could just be minding your own business. Um, just doing what you do, using your God-gifted talents, um, just going to work every day, just minding your own. But there's a mother figure, um, lover or spouse, um, and this is in the reverse. So this is um, uh, someone who should have been loving, caring, compassionate, and was not. So there's definitely a feminine energy here who's showing up as a karmic. This person could be trying to trick you to get you arrested for something. So this person could be in on a setup to get you arrested or bound or trap you up in a situation. This person is creating imbalances for you in every aspect of your life. This person is obsessed with creating some sort of illusion that you are not um, of importance. Like someone is, it's like that. They just think they're so high and mighty. This is definitely a mother figure. Oh my God. Whether it's your mother or someone else's mother or an ex-wife, 
Like, you just think, I, I'm hearing a nagging wife or, like, a mother figure. Like, you just think you're all that. And blah, blah, blah. Like, someone is trying to knock someone off their pedestal. But you, you've earned your right to be on that pedestal because you're a hierophant. <laughs> so you're a spiritual leader, teacher, preacher, prophet. You could have spiritual gifts. Um, you could be using your spiritual gifts and someone is trying to trick you out of your spiritual gifts or make it look like you're not doing um, something authentically. This person tried to make you go broke with the page of pentacles. This person created an imbalance. They wanted you to be in poverty because of the imbalance that they caused you. This could be going back to them. They could be getting in prison themselves. They could, there could be an empress in reverse here going to jail for affecting someone's finances, trying to trick them, trying to set them up for something. Excuse me. Maybe this person doesn't know what they did. I mean, they have to know what they did was illegal. But <clears throat> I guess they felt like they um, were too big to fail and they wouldn't get caught or have to pay for whatever consequences um, that they've rightfully earned. This was a karmic situation with the chariot. And this still could be a mother figure or um, a love situation. Anyone can be a karmic. You know, it's meant to teach you your lesson and you're meant to move on from it. Um, this person is a hard learner, though. They don't want to learn their lesson. They took something very important from you. Um, this could have even been a career. This was something important that was important to you. They didn't want you to get any sort of recognition or award. Um, anything that could boost your confidence, this person didn't want you to have it. This person didn't want you to taste that sweet life. They wanted you to be very emotional, um, emotionally unstable with the Nine of Cups in the reverse here. So if you were in like some sort of career path, so if you had a career that you held as valuable and you got some sort of reward or accol accolades, recognition or something like that, this person rushed in with the knight of swords in the reverse to tell some sort of lie to take that sweet life from you. It's like, this person doesn't deserve it. Um, this is like definitely queen of cups energy in the reverse. They intentionally took some sort of action to put barriers in your path to stop you from moving forward. You're going to have your 10 of cups and this has somebody all up in their five of cups because they're being left out in the cold. So this could be a karmic lover of your divine counterpart as well. It doesn't have to be a mother figure. So this could be a divine masculine's karmic partner that they're saying goodbye to. I'm definitely getting a nagging wife energy or a, a nagging ex. Like someone's voice is just so irritating. <clears throat> oh man, that was shrill. Oh man, yeah. Very nasally and shrill. Ugh. I, I, I can't stand that. Yeah, someone's all up in their emotions because they're getting left out in the cold with the Five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. I think I feel like this person didn't see this coming. They didn't think that they would be the ones getting left out in the cold. They thought a Divine Femme or a Divine Masculine was going to get left out in the cold. Well, you're showing up as the Queen of Wands. You're a leader. You're in your boss energy. So you're compassionate, caring, um, protective, you know, a true boss in your boss energy. Oh, someone's from Brooklyn. Someone's in that boss energy. Someone's from Brooklyn. <laughs> what, Jersey? Jersey? I'm getting that Brooklyn state of mind, that song. Is that Brooklyn? No, Empire state of mind. So something could be surrounding like New York, the Empire, Empire State Building could be significant. Not only are you the queen of wands, but you're also the star. So you have divine gifts and talents. You're a, you're a true official, official, official person. You're the hierophant. You're the star. You're the queen of wands. <laughs> you are like all of it. You're a jack of all trades. Somebody was trying to get some sort of, keep you from getting some sort of information with the four of wands. Someone could have had information regarding somebody who wanted to hook up with you or be your divine counterpart. And this person betrayed you in some sort of relationship. So I'm strongly getting that somebody could have maybe even hooked up with an ex of yours to cause some sort of betrayal to you. But someone thought you were relaxing and resting just a little too easily. 
And so somebody purposefully interfered with a relationship that you were meant to be in or that you were going towards just because they didn't want to see you in it and be happy. Just another move to knock somebody off of their horse. But this person was left looking like a fool. You could be focused on your finances at this time. You could be um, protective over your financial stability at this time with the Four of Pentacles. Because somebody worked really hard to take those pentacles away from you by betraying you with the five of swords. This person could have costed you your job. They could have told some sort of lie um, to get you fired. So if you did anything like in the medical field or like in um, like social work or something like that, this person could have um, had you under investigation constantly. Um, <clears throat> if you're in that kind of work. You know, they take those investigations seriously and you could have gotten suspended possibly multiple times or even certain allegations could possibly just get you fired. Or if somebody got you arrested and you got charged with a crime, you can get fired for many jobs for that as well. So someone could have tried to get you arrested for something so that you would never be able to work in your career again. This is really shady shit here. Mm, before I do those, I'm going to check these. I don't care, but somebody does. This person doesn't care about you. They don't care about what happens to you. An apple a day keeps anyone away if you throw it hard enough. So somebody who's in the medical field could be significant, especially with an apple away keeps the doctor away, that saying. So someone could have tried to, to um, do something to affect your career, especially if you're in the medical profession. Um, they didn't want you to ever be able to practice again. I mean, this person is vindictive, man. Somebody really wanted to stop you from ever doing whatever you are meant to be doing, like, permanently. Confession is good for the soul. This person has something they need to confess, but I doubt they'll ever say it. This person doesn't really care about you, especially if it's a mother figure or something. This person is so cold-hearted. It's like they're going to take this to their grave. <clears throat> Follow your heart, but take your brain. You're emotionally balanced and logically balanced. You're balanced between your heart and your brain. Don't count your chickens before they've hatched. So somebody counted on being able to affect you um, in a certain way. This could be, once again, someone trying to play on someone's emotions. That's how narcissists work. They try to play on your emotions. That's why it keeps coming out, especially when you're dealing with narcissists. Um, or codependent people, people who haven't healed from their childhood wounds. That's why it keeps coming out because they play on your emotions. So that's why it keeps coming out like that. My boss acts like a baby. Someone wanted it to look like you were too immature to be in the position that you hold. So maybe you got like a medical degree or something, or um, I'm getting psychiatrist or psychiatry, um, like a therapist, something like that. You could have gotten a degree like very early, like maybe straight out of high school, you went and got some sort of degree or something. And somebody thought that you were too immature to hold that title. So they wanted to take you out of it. I want to plant and grow a field of y'all. So this is definitely someone that's um, in your family involved in this. It's like, I'm getting the tree from the poisonous fruit. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> Somebody wanted you to look like you were a piece of shit like them because they don't want you to do better than them. I picked up on this energy before and I can't stand this energy. People in your family didn't want you to do better than them, so they purposefully tried to sabotage you to get you kicked out of whatever you were good at. When nothing is going right, go left. So this person kept changing directions and tactics so that it looked like it wasn't them who's doing it. They could have gotten other people involved in this. So you couldn't pinpoint exactly who was behind this. Bless your heart. Um, somebody could be from the South as well. <clears throat> Louisiana, Texas, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, South Carolina. That could be significant. So I'm definitely getting the, the what is it, the Eastern Coast, like the Eastern side of the United States, you know, that kind of area. I'm rich. I'm always rich when I go to the dollar store. 
So once again, you could be watching your finances, penny pinching, <clears throat> because someone um, got you fired from your job or your position. Maybe you've thought about just changing careers altogether because of what happened to you. People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. So this person has a lot of skeletons in their closet. And they're throwing rocks at your house, trying to get your house to crumble and fall. But this person's secrets are going to be exposed with this being in the upright. So this is going to all be exposed. Don't forward my call. I know where you live. Someone could be <clears throat> showing up to your house to tell you about what this person did to you. If somebody went to your family or somebody was trying to locate you or something, somebody lied to them about where you are or if they knew how to find you. You may not be taking calls from this person. Um, either this person is going to show up at your house or somebody who is looking for you um, that tried to get your location from a family member, either they're going to show up. Someone's going to show up at your house and tell you something important. Ah, you're, you're my knight in shining armor in the reverse. And take my advice, I'm not using a hypocrite. <clears throat> So this could be someone in your family who wanted to be seen as the knight in shining armor, someone who helps you. It's like they're throwing rocks, destroying your house, and then it's like, they always need me to help bail them out of trouble. They're always getting into trouble. No, they're not. What the fuck are you talking about? This divine femur masculine is smarter than this karmic will ever be. This person's a hypocrite, and they're lying, and they're projecting, and they need to heal their childhood wounds. This is really sick. Someone is in a state of shock about a feminine energy, an empress energy. So someone could be shocked to find out maybe the conditions you live in, um, the fact that, yeah, the fact that somebody was acting immature and was sending flying monkeys towards you. Someone could be shocked that this feminine energy sent um, people to harass you or stalk you or get you fired or even had people at work working against you. <clears throat> Or I'm getting that they use their connections within the community to make these allegations against you to try to make them stick. Someone is about someone's about to get the shock of their life. Someone's about to get some big shocking news here. Someone they thought that they could trust um, betrayed them. And this is somebody that was um, involved with the karmic. Yeah, somebody's getting a message here. There's going to be some sort of communication. You could be getting communication from a flying monkey themselves. Someone definitely has a confession to make, and this could be coming straight from one of the people who were harassing you or stalking you or caused you to lose your job in the first place. Yeah, someone who was disloyal to you, who betrayed you in some way. Someone wants to come communicate something to you regarding this betrayal and about this witchy energy. And how this person tried to take every option from you. And how they are all in despair over you. Crying a river. Screaming. Throwing little temper tantrums. Man. Confession is good for the soul. Yeah. Somebody. Somebody that this witchy energy had coming towards you. It's definitely one of those flying monkeys. It's somebody that was originally against you, but they've had like a change of heart. They want to come towards you and tell you something. Maybe you already know about this, but there's pieces of the puzzle that you don't know yet. Yeah, there's going to be a group of people that are going to band together to help you after this betrayal. People are going to be shocked. People trusted this person. People can't believe that your own family member would do this to you. Or this close friend. This person was not a leader. This person was not a boss. This could have even been a co-worker, even. It doesn't necessarily have to be someone in your family, but it could be someone that you worked with that maybe knows your family. Judgment has been called, and you have an offer coming towards you with the Knight of Cups. 
<clears throat> so judgment has been called on this person who betrayed you. And there is a group. You could even be getting a call back. Somebody could be coming to give you a call back. There's an investigation here. And you're going to be celebrating. Somebody looked into a situation, possibly about your career or your job path. I'm strongly getting job and career here. And an ending. Someone tried to end this. And they, they caused a lot of emotions. They didn't want you to have a new start or a new beginning. <clears throat> this person was jealous of you having a new start or being seen in the public eye. Or just even being appreciated for your hard work. This person tried to put a permanent ending to your career, your livelihood, something that you were very passionate about. And there was a very uh, big emotional time that was created by this. You could have even ended up in a state of poverty because of this person and them losing your job. They tried to blackball you. Um, so, like, if you have any sort of um, allegations made against you that goes on, like, a government record or something like that, like, there's some sort of documentation um, that gets seen like, um, by government officials or something like that. Like if you have a government job, there's some sort of notes or something put in your record that was meant to stop you from ever working in the same field again with the death card here. Wow. You're going through a transformation. Big changes are coming. You also have a new cycle coming with the ace of cups and a love offer. That was at the very beginning. Someone wants to offer you a commitment. Somebody was withholding some important information from you with the Page of Wands. Somebody was acting very childish by withholding some very important information. This could have been someone that wanted to make you a love offer that was looking for you. This could have been somebody that you worked with in the past that wanted to look you up and date you. Maybe they heard rumors or something about you in the past. You're moving on to calmer waters. Whatever you touch, it, it turns to gold. You're manifesting. You're growing. You're working on your pentacles with the seven of pentacles. And then the four of wands, something is being laid to rest. And this could even be the fam family member, or close friend, or whoever this is that worked against you. They could be getting ready to pass away. They could be in ill health. Wow. <clears throat> this karmic can't stand that you're being seen as authentic teacher or prophet. It goes against their personal religious beliefs. They're purposefully lying to cover their ass. They're out for revenge because you're better than this person and they don't like that. Because you don't do karmic shit. Not because you're... Okay, there's a biblical term for this. Respect of persons. You don't treat anyone differently based on outward appearances. This person does. This person is a respect of persons. They're out for revenge against you because they are projecting their own personal feelings towards you as if you think you're better than everyone else when they just really have a chip on their shoulder. Um, you, you, yeah. Actions speak louder than words. They wanted to stop you from moving forward. They've been silently working behind the scenes to stop you from moving or taking any action. This person said you were under the influence of drugs or alcohol, but it was really them. Somebody wants to get frisky with you. This person feels butterflies with you. Um, somebody told them if they went looking for you, like at your family's house or whoever this is, um, they told them to stop wasting their time and not come looking for you. Um, don't bother because you're a piece of shit. You're always going to be a piece of shit. Like, they just trash talked you. Um, you could have someone blocked. This could be the person that was shit talking you or the person who's actually looking for you um, to try to make you some sort of love offer. So it could be a past person coming back or it could be somebody new. I'm getting that you maybe you have this family member blocked. Somebody is blocked from communicating to you. To you. So maybe you got a new phone number or something. So if this is a past employee, um, you know, employment situation, this could have been someone that you worked with and maybe you changed your number and somebody doesn't have your new phone number. Somebody needs to act their age. Somebody has hacked your accounts. This person feels entitled to know what's going on in your life. So I'm definitely getting that mother figure again. I need to clean out my closet. They're keeping secrets, but people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones because their secrets are going to be coming out. They're trying to stop an injustice from being made right. So there was an injustice that this person had a hand in creating and they're trying to stop it from being made right. 
because if it gets made right, then they're going to have to pay for the consequences of the part that they played in it, and they don't want that to happen. Somebody is trying to save face and cover their own ass. <clears throat> this person is really good at putting on the dog and pony show. This is someone who can start crying at the drop of a hat and convince you, I didn't do it on purpose. I didn't do this on purpose. Yeah, they're crying. They're going to be crying. They wanted you to be crying, but they're going to be crying. Don't step on anyone's toes. They stepped on a divine person's toes. They don't know who the fuck. You're the queen of wands, the hierophant, the official person, the star. You are everything. And they went and stomped all over your toes like it was nothing. Like they didn't care. They didn't think they would have to pay for it. It's like, you're my child. I can do whatever the fuck I want to you. No, bitch, you cannot. This person pretended like they wanted to bury the hatchet just so they can step on your toes some more. It's like this person treated you like a yo-yo. They were in and out, in and out. Um, just long enough to get some information. They did something impatiently. Good things come to those who wait. This person hasn't got a clue. They're not very smart. Chip off the old block. Definitely a parental figure or your child. You're either the mother or the child in this situation or father. Take it how it resonates, but someone, whether it's a parent or you're the parent um, or you're the child, whatever, someone in your family is definitely involved. Someone was having somebody watch you, like stalking you like crazy with an eagle eye. This person, it's like nothing gets past them. They're like all up in your business. They wanted you to lose everything but the kitchen sink, and maybe you did. Um, but they're going to have to bite the bullet for this because they were passionate about it. And it was the blind leading the blind. This person is ignorant. That's why they never got to the place in life where you did because they're, uh, you know, everyone's, I feel like is born with a certain amount of intelligence, but then you do things and you either choose to get educated or you choose to, to stay uneducated. This person chose to not pursue their dreams and goals. They chose to not be educated. And then they hate you because you have some sort of knowledge or gift and you're smart. You know, you could be attractive too. Um, it's like this person hates you just for being you. I mean, God, I'm so sick of this jealous ass mother ass energy. And it doesn't have to be your mother. I've seen in the comments that it was other people's mothers, like your ex's mother. It could be your mother-in-law, too. I mean, it doesn't matter, but there's a mother figure here, an empress in reverse, a maternal figure, whether it's your mother or someone else's mother. There's a mother here that's a cold-hearted, jealous bitch from hell. Every dog has its day. You're going to have your time. You're, go you're going to, because you're never looking back to this person. They thought that they could conquer you, and they thought that they would just... What goes around comes around. You can run, but you can't hide. They can't hide from their karma. This is the person that's like out in their shed at like 3 a.m. doing fucking spell work with chicken bones and shit. And I'm not saying anything about that. I'm just saying this person is doing the dark side of shit. If you mess with chicken feet, chicken bones, whatever, I hear that the chicken feet are like protection, stuff like that. I'm not saying anything about that. I think they're kind of cool looking, but I don't, I don't know. They kind of creep me out, so I wouldn't have a chicken foot. But um, I'm, I've seen readers that sell them and stuff, and they paint their toes and stuff. And it, look, they look cool, but, I mean, it kind of creeps me out. But my, also, my daughter also makes, like, animals out of, like, felt that look realistic. And the texture of it, like, it's just creepy to me. Like, because it looks like a little taxidermy animal. It's just the creep factor for me. But that's just me. But whoever this person is, is legitimately doing, like, black magic and spell work with this shit. Not, like, for protection. Um, we have an opposites attract here and a Gemini. So you could be a Gemini or they could be a Gemini. Someone wanted you to be as poor as a church mouse. Um, so you could be a Gemini who's as poor as a church mouse. Or it could be a Gemini that tried to make you as poor as a church house. This person is your complete opposite. Um, so if you're light, this person does dark shit. So, you know, how you would have a chicken foot for protection. This person's doing, I don't know what the fuck you do with a chicken foot for dark shit. Cause I don't mess around with it, but someone's using like chicken bones and chicken shit. Like, I don't know if they use literal chicken shit, but they're like whatever parts of the chicken, this, whatever they're using. I'm seeing someone who even goes to the deli and gets like a rotisserie chicken and uses that, but their bones for something. I don't know what this crazy bitch is into, but she's using it for something and it's not protection. They do something in the nighttime. This person's your complete opposite. They opened up a can of worms and to add insult to injury, it's like they wanted to hurt you. They wanted to take everything from you, all your finances, everything. February could be significant. I'm running out of time here. 
you are coming out of the woods once again there's something like a Taurus who thought something would be like stealing candy from a baby you're going to weather the storm but they're not going to be able to because they're under judgment you can count your blessings this person didn't want you to be seen as pure as driven snow you're a light worker you're a good person this person excuse me didn't want to see the light that's why they're going to court and there's something significant about Thursday and it's only a matter of time and once again a Gemini all right let me pull some letters The letter G could be significant, person, place, or thing. See how that happens? Even when I get a head start on shit, it's like I just never have enough time. When I get into it, I, I you know, Z. K. I don't, I'm hearing gizmo. Gremlins. Gremlins could be significant. Why? I know that's like a Christmas movie, but it's like there's something that happens like after midnight, this crazy bitch is out in the shed doing something with chicken bones. F. Kentucky could be significant. That camp KY came out, so Kentucky could be significant. R. S. I'm hearing the Gaza Strip. So something about the Gaza Strip, the Middle East, could be significant. J. Russell Stover Candies could be significant. T. E. Someone needs to get more rest. And another Y. So I have two Ys. T, E, R, S, J, K, G, Z, and F. I hope this helps, folks. Have a good day.